Well, it's Wednesday, so yesterday, Charles Boyk Law and Wurzel's Bike Shop awarded another bicycle to a Toledo area kid, making a huge difference in our community. Annika Godlewski from Charles Boyk Law Offices is here with more on this week's winner yeah. and how you can nominate a youngster. We've had some really great ones yeah, so far. This week is was no different. Like, right. So every week when we do this, I always end up, you know, tearing up and crying because of all the great <laughs> stories, but which is no exception yesterday. Mm -hmm. But yesterday when Juan was awarded his bike, like he had his, his arms up like this a little bit and his aunt kept telling him, put your hands on, put your hands mm -hmm. down. It's because he was trying not to cry. Aww. He's like this 11 year old kid who heard his aunt say so many awesome things about him and he was he just was kind of embarrassed because he didn't right. want anyone yeah, to see how emotional attention. he was getting. Mm -hmm. There he is in the black and red. But um, Juan, for many, many reasons, see, there he is. He's like Aww. trying to wipe his eyes. <laughs> but and there's his Aunt Dora telling him exactly why she nominated him. Mm -hmm. Not only does he help out around the house and, you know, take care of his younger siblings and everything. Shortly before his great grandma passed away, Juan and Dora and the little sister were in an, in an accident. Mm -hmm. um, they were pretty banged up. The insurance company gave them some money. Mm -hmm. And then they found out the great grandma was like on her deathbed and passed away. Yeah. They thought that the funeral expenses were covered, mm -hmm. but it turned out that they weren't. Mm -hmm. And so Juan saw his mom crying about not knowing how to give her the proper burial. Right. And he's like, well, mom, I just got some money. Why don't I help? And this was like a couple of thousand dollars. Oh so it wasn't, goodness. you know, it wasn't just like, oh, here, take my $20. Right. In Juan's heart and mind, like his family is number one. And Dora was just like, I can't think of a better kid because every time you turn around, he is, he's not the typical kid. He's mm -hmm. always thinking of his family first. And not a lot of kids do that. 11 so. years old. Yes, exactly. You would think that he would be thinking about riding a bike. Exactly. And then when <laughs> he, he got his bike, his he was so cool because he had all black and red on. His favorite color is red. The bike was black and red. Oh, he was perfect. like freaking out and his helmet was black and red so all perfect for him yeah. and so this is just another example of yeah. some of the great kids in our community we've had a number of them in already yeah. and we need more because we've we got do. a few we still have a plenty of bikes to give away we do we really do um i want to say that there's seven or eight weeks left about seven weeks but we always end up tacking on a couple at the you end know, so if, if the more <laughs> nominations we get the more likely my boss is to get a couple extra bikes mm -hmm. so hopefully Toledoans can help us with that and so uh, if people are hearing this and they say hey I know a really great mm -hmm. kid I want to nominate how do they do that bikes for kids Toledo.com WTOL also has it on their website mm -hmm. um, so you can either go to WTOL or bikes for kids Toledo.com it's super easy just tell us about a cool kid that you think might mm -hmm. want a bike about 100 words or less uh, yeah 150 right? yeah. words or less it's really yeah. easy yeah so just type it up and say this this is why this uh, youngster deserves it and uh, send it on in and uh, you could you know really bring some joy to yeah. a kid's life who deserves it because yeah. when we see them pick up those bikes it's so incredible it really is and they're really nice bikes that yeah. will they can grow into so you're not getting a kid the, the bike will last for a long time right and so why did the law firm decide that they wanted to get involved in we, something like this we really wanted to tell Everyone in the community, just please be careful, especially in the summertime with mm -hmm. bike safety. Whether you're on a bike or driving down the roads, it's so easy because so many more kids are out there riding their bikes with the warm weather. Mm -hmm. Just to be careful, wear your helmet, don't wear flip flops, um, just kind of trying to promote that bike safety. So we thought that if we could highlight some of these cool kids that are already yeah. doing great things, we can help tell that story of safety too. As well. All right. Yeah. Sounds really great. And, uh, and congratulations this week to Juan, a well-deserving kid who uh, deserves to have a lot of fun on yes, that bike this summer. Does. Thank you so much for being Appreciate here today. It. We appreciate the program. It's really wonderful. When Toledo